Hi and welcome to another Marriott reselling video. Faye's not well so she can't be here in person. However, hi my name's Faye and I'm Simon and together we are a UK reseller couple. Today we are going to do some picking and packing. We've got lots of sold items to show you but I've also got a haul. Uh, it's an auction mm. pickup haul. So we've got more what's sold on eBay's to show you in the barn and as Faye says she's got a haul to show you too. Got a couple of other bits and pieces in this video as well. We hope you enjoy it. Crate four. All right. Keen. Crate six. Okay, just wait till we get in the barn, yeah? Shut up. Crate 16. Too many crates. Oh, there it is. It's yeah. the vintage fantasy table glass lidded trinket dish in peach. That little one. Yeah, that's the one that was free to us and that sold for £10. <laughs> Listed and sold within two weeks. Just took an offer on it. Yes, we did. Fifteen or something, but fourteen ninety nine. But yeah, it's free. So, Zero value. and then we've got some the bed head sachets. More of those, hundreds. Excellent. They yep. cost two pounds. So for seven forty nine plus post, they weren't what we expected. So just getting rid of those. They sold. Being profit though, then now. Yeah, that's they sold within two months. Then we got crate eighteen, which is here. It's a vintage storage pot. It's grey and blue glazed. There it is. This one? Yes. Lovely. That cost 52p, sold for 19.99 and sold uh, within a week. And then we've got shoes. Yeah. The golf shoes. Are they in there, are they? Oh, the men's golf shoes. Yep. Yeah. Is this uh, them? Yeah. Oh no, 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 no. no. <laughs> I don't want to go and play golf in them, little bad boys. <laughs> oh yes, I can see them. These are Foot Joy Dry Joys OxyFlex 2 and they are a size 9 and they cost $4.99 and sold for $39.99 in less than a month. Uh, crate 15. Yeah. Royal Dalton, sorry, Dalton Bruce Oldfield dinner plates, four of them. Yeah. They cost £2.27. They sold in less than two weeks for £29.99. They could be from an auction pickup or they could be from a charity pickup, a charity shop pickup, because we had two lots in the week. I, I can't speak today. Two identical lots in the same week. One was found at a charity shop, one was found at the auction, and one, and so I just uh, did an average price. Yep. So that's a really good sale. If you watched our video before, we've mentioned where the Dalton sort of originated from, or, well, not where it originated from, but it's it's Dalton, not Royal Dalton, although it is yeah. sort of... Uh, Part of the same company. Yeah, and it was a Daily Mail connection thing. Yeah, collect your vouchers. Then we got Tops A. The top one, Angelo, the beige one, yeah. Now, I asked a question about this on Instagram and didn't get any replies because I, I wasn't, well, it's okay. I wasn't familiar with the brand, so I asked if anyone else was and clearly no one was because no one commented. Uh, sold within two weeks. It's an Angelo London men's jumper and it's 70% cashmere, 30% silk. That's why I picked it up. Cost £6.50, sold for £24.99. You helping? Got the dogs helping. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Crate 18, the one you just smashed. <laughs> In there are four cold cloth braganza cereal bowls. It's these. Yeah, these were from the junk shop, sold in less than two weeks. They cost £4 and sold for £19.99. Another cold cloth, this is crate 15. It's a tea set. So this is the same as the bowls that we just showed you. This is vintage cold cloth braganza. This is a load of trios, five trios. So that means five cups, five saucers, five side plates. This was also from the junk shop at the same time as the bowls. And this cost four pounds and sold for 29.99 in less than two weeks and is going to America on GSP. Got an Etsy sale here, uh, crate 14. 
It's the vintage BHS Priory teapot stand so trivet. Right on the top, look at that. Yeah. That cost £1.43 and sold for £9.99. Crate 2! I wonder what you said then. No crate. Idea. It's so loud and two. shrill. Shrill? <laughs> it's in a box. It's an Arabia oh. or Arabia Fin Crystal Apollo Glass Tea Light Candle Holder. Vintage from Scandinavia. That cost 97p. It's taken. Oh, yes. Taken 10 months to sell and it sold for £8 plus post in the end. It was a lot higher than that, £25, <laughs> but we've been lowering and lowering and lowering the price. I think maybe we've had a quicker sale for better money if there'd been a pair. Uh, yeah. But okay. at that price, that tells me it was in a job lot from auction, so... Beggars not... can't be choosers. No, exactly. And then tops. Yep. F. Fred Perry. What colour? That stripy one on top. Oh, nice. That is a Fred Perry cardigan, size double XL, men's. That cost eleven ninety nine um last month. So sold within a month for forty four ninety nine, and it's going to America via GSP. What have we got? Black tub. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> One day it'll be empty. One day, yeah, there, won't, there just won't be enough in it to warrant. But we'll have to keep it just for old time's sake. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll use it for other things, but this is the original laptop. <laughs> glass rods. Have fun packing 11 glass rods. They cost 35p for all 11 and they sold for 15.99. Would you use them in a lab or something? Yeah, they took two months to sell. Someone messaged and said, have you got, I, I'd like 17, please. Can you give me a price? Yeah. Oh, so, no. No. But I wonder if it's the same person. I haven't checked. I know there is something else there in is. the black tub. Uh, Love Ramix Egg Latte Cup times two. Yeah. These sold before and got returned because there was like, we listed them as new because essentially they're new. However, there was, we don't know if it happened in the black tub or if it happened, I don't know, when listing or whatever. But there was a couple of tiny, teeny, tiny, teeny, tiny scratches. Uh, customer wasn't happy. So anyway, I relisted as like new other or whatever and just said like X demo or something. Yeah. And, you know, uh, said there was a couple of marks. So they're going out and they've gone out for more. They cost 35p and sold for 24 99 And they took, uh, well, let's just say less than a month to sell because they got relisted. They were originally listed two months ago. Yeah. But both those and the glass rods are in the same lot from auction. Yeah, I think I'm right in saying they sold for more. Uh, I'm sure it will be a few videos back. I'm sure they sold for night on offer like for 19.99 or with a discount. Crate eight. Yeah, we have a pair of blue glass decanter jugs. Uh, Victorian Mary Gregory style. She hand painted coloured glass with like um, images of children on them. These haven't got children, they've got flowers, but it's in her style. They cost £4.16 and sold for £25. And they took two months to sell. And then we've got Crate 4. Yeah. The vintage Hornsey Palatine cup and saucer times three. Ooh. Is this a sort of new pattern on us? It is a new pattern for us, yes. Yeah. These were given to us free. All profits going to us to keep. These sold for nineteen ninety nine in less than a month. What's it called? Palatine. Yeah, or Palatine. So it's like sort it's of... It's got like wheels, wheels on it. Yeah. And then we have these notebooks. These were part of the job lot stationary pickup from the person we met at a garage sale. There are 27 identical notebooks here. There's like pugs on the front. Uh, they cost 94p and sold for £17.49 plus heavy post to a repeat buyer. These couldn't be sold on Amazon because they weren't there. They, they weren't, weren't in, in the catalogue catalog and I couldn't, couldn't be, be bothered, bothered to create one, uh, which we have done before, but um, not on this occasion. Uh, so yeah, that's a good sale. They sold in less than two weeks because they only listed them. We're in two weeks today. No, actually a week. So that's good. So, Faye, riddle me this. Customer opens a item not received case for an order that was just sent standard second class. So no tracking, but obviously delivery confirmation. 
it didn't arrive and the first thing we knew about it was when they opened a case saying it hasn't arrived two days later i put a message in the case saying the usual thing that i do sorry it's not arrived we'll open an investigation with royal mail they'll check the 2d barcode and locate it via gps uh, we'll get revenue protection involved they'll open an investigation blah 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 within an hour case closed with a message saying i have the item and you might want to tell royal mail that their tracking isn't working so how many orders do you receive and then go and check the tracking none whether it's updated none they're scam artists scammers potential scammers what do you what do you think in the comments what do you think about that i mean why would they know that the tracking is not updated they could have checked it when they opened the case and seen it's not updated you know so oh, i haven't got my order i've checked the tracking oh no it's not been delivered anywhere but why would they then close the case and tell us that the tracking is not working in a not so polite way mm. crate eight where's crate eight no nah, oh, i know it's not, me. not next to crate nine i don't think mm, no definitely not next it's to the crate vintage nine. price kensington mint sauce jug now is this one of the ones that's moved over to there <laughs> I reckon it's over here now. No. Keep bringing that one out. <laughs> it's not a jug. No. No. Oh, I see it. <gasps> oh my God. It's in there, in the basket. This has been uh, listed for two months, cost £2.87 and sold for £16. And that was in a job lot from auction. It's pretty hideous. Mm. It's got a face on it. Yeah. Um they're all a bit funny, but then that's, people like that, don't they? Show us the face. Ooh. Okay, Kingston SSD now V300, 120 gig internal, 7,200 RPM, two and a half inch. Sounds niche. It definitely is. This was a car boot sale pickup for a pound back in July. As you know, we don't really do car boot sales. Uh, maybe more fool us. And there it is. There, on the back here. Oh. Uh, this sold for £13. Um, yeah, we don't go to car beat sales. That's a big discussion for another time, I suppose. Okay. Marla Wynn. Yep. Marla twin MW23 is the skew. It's pink. 33. I need to yawn. I'm sorry. Three. How come all the pink ones? 33, 3. We're looking for 23. 23. You've done this. Catch me out. It wasn't on purpose, I'm sorry. This is a Polo Neck 3XL, cost £2.22, sold within two months for £16.99, and that was a Facebook Marketplace pickup. Three wine glasses. These sold in less than three hours. Now, these are in a job lot from auction. They cost 54p. I was going to redonate them. They are just wine glasses on first look but they have got a really sort of chunky cylindrical stem Damn. they're quite heavy they're about um 250 grams i think yeah so i listed those uh for 24.99 sent an offer out for 19.99 someone messaged and said would i take 15 i said no they have literally just been listed and i've had lots of interest because i had there was views and they sold straight away from that message to the same person for £19.99. Plus, I've got to wrap them, free post. I know, like, some people just don't take things into yeah, account. I mean, do I'll they? happily throw them in a poly bag for £15. So, I'll show this. This was from, oh, no, there you go, Carbic Chris cooking the Haydens. So, funny story about this. Thanks, Chris, for sending this through. Cute little picture of Cookie. Luna and Snoopy haven't seen it yet. So. Uh, on a Monday night, Carbon Chris does his live show, and a part of that is guess the weight of an item that he holds up. And I listen to it in the car on the way to football uh, most weeks. I usually have a guess, because sometimes I'm still getting changed at home. But this particular time, I was driving along, and I went to phase mum and dad to pick something up and lost reception. And when I got back in the car, everyone was having their guesses, so I just whacked in a random number. I had no idea what the item was at all, and I won. Whoever missed out that week, apologies. Uh, but yeah, thanks for sending that through, Chris. That is quite a place here. And I noticed you've got a Poshmark sticker, which is interesting. Where did you get them from? They'll be collector's pieces. 
Now, I'm just gonna apologize. I've got the leggy, I've got a horrible cough, I've got a cold, but the show must go on. So I've got a hot drink, I've got a cold drink, I've got my cough medicine, dosed up on paracetamol, and I'm ready to go. Showing you what I got from auction. It's gonna be similar to some of the other videos I've done where I have a tub and I don't really know what's in it. I haven't had a look, I haven't had a rummage, I haven't taken anything out. This lot was described as two boxes containing blue and white ginger jar, ornamental figures, plus general crockery. And it costs £16 plus £3.36 fees, so £19.36p. I did go to the auction and view the lots before I bid. However, when I then log on and uh, follow the auction live the next day, I don't ever go to the auction and bid in person. If there was some, some going cheap, I sometimes put a sneaky bid in. And I think this was one of them. It wasn't one that I was planning on buying, but it was one that was going cheap, so I thought, oh... Let's, let's go for it. Let's go. Now that everything seems to be wrapped really nice. I haven't um, had anything wrapped like this before. In sandwich bags and elastic bands. Um, so we'll go straight in and show you this cat ornament. It's like a navy blue. It has nothing written on it. Cat stuff can be popular. I mean, we do have some cat stuff in stock at the moment. But in the past, we've done quite well with cat stuff. Uh, this one is wrapped in bubble wrap with an elastic band again. Uh, trigger warning, clowns. Uh, it's a clown on a rocking horse. It looks really old. Um, it says EJ Wellham, Oxford Street, Swansea. So I'm guessing that is the person that made it. I've made that mistake before in a video. I peeled the tag off the bottom because I thought it was like someone's just address that they put all, an address on all their belongings. Um, but it turns out that's what some people do who make things out of pottery. So I have no idea if that's going to be worth anything. Um, but I will do my research and find out. Something else in a blue bag with an elastic band around it. Right, an elephant. This has uh, a, something on the bottom. 1501889, I think, in pen. Uh, yeah, I'll have to do a Google image search on this. Don't think it's got any chips. I mean, all of this could be going to a charity shop. It could be going on eBay. And if it's chips, it could be going in our next door neighbors conveniently placed skip at the moment. Another cat, not a cat fan. Um, I think it's broken. In its hand here should be something, yeah come off but if it's worth anything I'll be able to glue that on um it's a money box nothing on the bottom to indicate oh there's chips on it where it's from that's probably going in the skit next up is another ornament um this one is a duck and a frog now I did do some research on some ornaments like this and I think it's nature's rest is the brand some of those can go for a lot of money when it's like best in breed this has an interesting base. Uh, I don't know if it was on a bit of wood or something before, and that's glue, uh, but there's no maker or anything, so I'll have to do a Google image search on that one. Nothing's blowing my skirt up yet. Nice dirty mug. The Queen Victoria mug, 1897. I think that's the same age as my house. Uh, Diamond Jubilee. And this is Crown Staffordshire, England. I think I don't think this is made at the time. Some stuff, I have sold commemorative stuff before. I don't just discard it. I mean, I, mean, I don't pick it up in charity shops. Um, however, some bits and bobs do sell. And if I don't ask for too much money for them, like if I've paid pence and I list it for 9.99 plus post, then quite often they do sell. Um, I'll have to find out about that mug. This one is a jug. And this is Sadler, and it's got 2475PR on the base, and a price of 50p, and the spout isn't chipped, so that's a good sign. Sadler stuff can be quite collectible, um, I have to do my research about that one, find out what the pattern name is. I'm guessing this is the ginger jar, sold a couple of ginger jars recently, both different, not sold one like this before, this has a mark on the bottom and a number three that could just mean made in china on the bottom and um, i'll have to use my translate 
function on uh, the Google app, take a picture of it, because uh, sometimes that's all it means is made in China, um, but it also might mean something different. Uh, but that's quite a nice one. I don't know if it's supposed to have a lid. Maybe it's in here. Maybe it's not. We've got a teacup. This is um, Special Flowers Queen's February Violets. Now, if the sauces with this and the plate, if, I could, if it's like a flower of the month type thing um, or a birthday flower, then I've sold these before to like trios or just a cup and saucer. And they do sell quite quickly for about anywhere between 15 and 25 pounds. I'll put this to one side because it's a teacup and it might be part of a set. Ow, that was sharp. It's a sharp bit of the side of the hat. It's a teddy bear with a hat on. No maker's mark. It does look quite old. You do get people that collect these sort of things. So again, Google image search. I use it a lot. Someone eating some grapes. Another ornament. Now, this has got a crown on it. It could be Hummel, I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to use another app. I have to use the magnifying app on that. I'll get my loop out because there is a sticker as well. And I don't know off the top of my head what that maker's mark is. Because uh, there's so many to remember. Thanks for the nice comments about my dress, by the way. Um, I don't always wear baggy clothes, but when I'm at home, I do. Um, so it's really nice to, for people to notice, but I'm usually in my comfy clothes. Um, so yeah, appreciate that, thank you. I don't look refreshed today though, not with this blooming cold. Oh, this has got a chip in it. This is a teacup and it's Minton. It looks very old. It's very pretty. Ooh. I think this is the same as the one I just showed you, the flower of the month, February violets, yes. So I'll put that with that one. Let's hope the sauces are in there. Another commemorative mug that has been smashed to smithereens and repaired. And this is crowned June the 22nd, 1911. George and Queen Mary, long may they reign. That will be going in the skip. Got another teacup. This one hasn't got a maker on the bottom, so that will go on Google Image Search. If nothing comes up on Google Image Search, then I use replacements.com or China Search. And replacements.com, I've actually spoken to them, I think they're in America, because I bought a whole dinner set from auction and I couldn't find anywhere the pattern name. I knew the brand was Mikasa, but I couldn't find the pattern name anywhere. And I went through 74 pages of Mikasa patterns I even um, looked on eBay, did Google image search, tried everything. Um, and then I contacted Macasa. They said that it wasn't a pattern that they're familiar with since they took the company over in 2008. So it's gonna be older. And they told me to contact replacements.com themselves. So I did. They do an identification service for free, which was really helpful, but they couldn't identify it either. So <laughs> that was frustrating. So if you do buy dinner sets or anything, um, have a look on replacements.com because um, it's helped me 99% of the time. A little milk jug. I find that milk jugs and sugar bowls don't really sell very well when they're on their own. It's alright if they're um, part of a set. Uh, this is Arthur Wood England 4876. It looks very old. So I'll have to do some research on that one. Another teacup. There we go. This one is made in China on the bottom. Doesn't mean to say it's not worth anything. It just means to say that it's not part of a recognized brand in this country that people might collect. Got a little bowl. This is midwinter England, semi-porcelain. Go. Got a little plate. That is Sutherland, England. Looks very old and that got a ring on it, like they've used it as a saucer. It does go with that cup that I showed you a minute ago. So it might be a case that there is a saucer for it. It's got damage, those white bits, there's one, and on the other side, and a massive crack in the back. This is Minton, so that must go with that. And that would be lovely. That would sell really quickly if it didn't have damage. So that's a shame. I find that a lot of the time the cups with the patterns inside do well. Some of these are double bagged. Another, oh, it is the saucer. It's the saucer. I was gonna say it's another plate, but it's a trio. Yay, and providing there's no damage on that one, that should be a quick sale. This is like a little bowl. 
that goes with the damaged stuff. That's a real shame. It's sort of rough on the edges where the gold's worn off. But I don't think they're actually chips, so I might be able to get away with that one. Obviously, I'll declare it. Saucer. This is royal something. Can't tell. Oh, nearly dropped it on everything. I'll just do a pattern search on that one with Google Image. Oh, another violet February teacup. That's three, but no saucers. I find it quite hard to sell saucers on their own. Don't tend to sell cups on their own. Haven't really had many. Always seem to have more saucers than cups. There's another one. Um, so I'm hoping there's some saucers. This is what it was in. It was in two smaller boxes, but we just put it all in one just for easy storage. There's a blooming spider in there. Oh, what did I say about putting my hands in stuff? I shouldn't have done that. Oh, that's going in the garden. I'm just gonna lob it out the door. Tommy can deal with it when he gets home from sourcing. He's out sourcing for Amazon today. Moving. This is a queen. It's different. Queen, I've got to get rid of the spider, hold on. Oh. Sorry about that, literally just threw it out the back door, onto the lawn, the whole tub. Um, Simon, I'm sure, figure it out when he gets back. <laughs> this is last, oh, I haven't had one like this before. It's a gravy jug on its saucer, like connected. It's a bit different for me. This is, Orient from the Dynasty Collection. Franciscan dishwasher safe, oven safe. Oh, not seen that brand before. There we go. Uh, I have no idea what I could get for that. Um, but it is gravy boat time. Uh, people buy them for Christmas dinners and stuff. So out of stuff that I can list, I've got one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, maybe fourteen or fifteen things. So there'll be over um, a pound an item, which is a bit much for me lately. I've been getting things for pence. However, there could be some treasure in here. I have no idea until I do the research. Uh, so I'll do it one at a time. Um, research, list, take photographs, upload the photographs, um, and then I wrap it in the plastic. And while I'm actually talking about the plastic, someone asked to show how I do it. So I'm gonna do it now. Here's my roll of plastic. Uh, we buy it in bulk and it comes on these plastic handles. We have bought the bigger ones. I mean, this is probably a quarter of a roll that's left, but we have bought ones before that are like this when they're full and they go on a cardboard handle and they're too big for me. They, I can't, I can't, it's a weird action. They weren't good, but these ones, um, are really good on the plastic handles. We can send you the link if you want to order them. So I am going to show you how I would wrap a cup and saucer because we wrap everything in the plastic because it gets stored in our barn in crates. The crates are numbered. The number of the crate is put on the skew when we list. So when it sells, we know that according to the skew, it's in crate four, for example. Um, so yeah, uh, by wrapping it in plastic, it stops it from moving around, it stops things that are in a set from becoming separated, and it stops things from rubbing on other things. So for a cup and saucer on its own, I'll put the cup upside down, I get my wrap, and I just hold it onto the edge of the saucer, and the things will move to start with, and I bring it round, and then I twist it towards me, and then back again. You can get a lot of movement by twisting things and changing directions and I just make sure that each edge or corner is wrapped and covered and um, to avoid any like damage or rubbing and then I just you can tear it but I just cut it because it sticks better and I just lay it down like that and there we go there you go it's all secured I can wrap whole tea sets like that now I'm quite good at it um, like six cups, six sauces, six plates. I can wrap all in one go and I can hold it by one cup like at the top. Um, so yeah, I, it's definitely my favorite way of preparing stuff for storage um, rather than using bubble wrap, which is more expensive and harder to come by. Like 
well, I say hard to come by, it's obviously not, but we buy it by the roll and sometimes we're short and we've got a lot of stuff going out in the post, so we need it for that. So what did you think of this lot? Uh, it's a bit of a different one. I didn't really know what was in here. I hope it's not a waste. I mean, I'm disappointed that these didn't come with their saucers. What I might do is actually go back into the barn and see, because I bought a lot of stock on this particular auction day. And I may well have bought stock from the same person and it could be that the sources could be in another lot. So I need to go and check that I haven't got them um, in there. Yeah, what do you think? Anything here sort of you're familiar with that you think, yeah, that I could get 20 quid for that? Let me know. Thanks for putting up with my husky voice. Bye. Crate 18. Here. Oh yeah. Pink vintage Johnson Brothers Rose Dawn Jug. I can see it. Shut up. <laughs> there it is. Beautiful. That is 52p. That uh, cost 52p. Listed this month. So sold within two weeks for 9 99 plus post. And that was in a job lot from auction. Then we've got Crate 6. Uh, yeah. The oh. WWE Wrestling Divas Pint Glass. Oh, Sasha yeah. Banks from 2015. Whoa. Got so much glass in here. Well, that could be catastrophic. That is a lot of glass. It's, it's sort of time for reorganisation again. Uh, <clears throat> oh, there it is. I could have, I could have got that. <laughs> Let's just pop that there. Pop this back. Find out, Sneeps. Good boy. There was a massive spider in it. Is there? Oh, God. It's alive. Oh my god. Oh my god. Of all the places it could have been. Hold on, don't go near me. Wait one sec. Oh god, don't go near me. Can you put it down the road? No. Don't put it right there. Put it over there. Alright. Over the over the hedge. It come out. Maybe we should just post it. Crikey. We got that little white hat and there's a little web in it. Oh god. Anyway, yes, here we go. Panic over everyone. Panic over. You obviously like the look of her. <laughs> yeah, we had we've had quite a bit of interest in this. People trying to get it for a lower price and stuff. It cost one forty nine. Three months ago we listed it and it sold for fourteen forty nine. Yeah, the people have been offering us a tenner, but you know. Do you want to hold up your Slimming World books? They're worth a fortune. <laughs> There's four of them. Four Slimming World books. We picked up a bundle of eight recently. Four went into Amazon. These four didn't. So I think cost price was there for £1.50 on these yep. four. And they sold for nineteen ninety nine Plus post. Woohoo. Yeah, and they sold in less than a week. Uh, then we've See, got... I, do, I do list stuff on eBay. You do. Uh, you've got your magic carpet. <laughs> it's not recyclable. That's just the bag on the outside. Well, it probably is. But... This is a Persian mini woven rug mat mouse pad. Um, cost pence in a job lot of posters. This did 10 months ago and it sold for $3.99 plus price. Yeah, we, we've got about, I think, 10 posters left and I just reduced all the price down of them. Uh, three of them are slung out because they were too long for small parcel. they have been into medium parcel. We don't use every, uh, if we can help it. And so therefore I just slung those out because I didn't want to charge more for postage than, you know, two ninety nine, which is what we charge. So my recommendation is don't buy these if you see them. <laughs> Um, random tub. Oh, oh, you're right. Oh, God. It's the opera binoculars. Oh, hopefully, they're just going to jump out at me. They were recently listed, so. 
Send help. Send help for me, my arm's aching. Oh, you look so sad. With your kettle. It's one of those where it's like, I can't be bothered to pull this tub out to get this tub out. So I'm just, you know, making it hard for myself. But I just can't be bothered. Probably turn out to be in a different tub. It was only listed the other day, so surely it can't oh, have moved that quick. No. I thought that was them, but it's two little glass bottles, but they kind of look like they could be little binoculars. Hold on. We're going back in. We've got groaning going on. What are you going to do? Sure they're not at home. <laughs> well, they might be, but we put random. It's only the other day. You might have said random and meant home. Oh, there they are. Don't put the item back in. Oh no. Get in there. Stand up straight and stretch your back out. <sighs> Don't tell me they sold for like a pound. <laughs> they cost 39p, sold in less than two weeks for 29.99. Oh, it was all worth it. <laughs> Black tub next. <laughs> These, this is a fox and fern ceramic squirrel. It's in a box. It's teeny tiny. It's a little ceramic squirrel. It cost 35p. Uh, two months ago we got that and it sold for 5 99 plus post. It's all right, 35p. See what that was. Throw it away, isn't it? Yeah. And then crate 11. It's a vintage woodsware iris jug, so it's blue. It's a jug, it's quite large. So we've sold loads of woodsware barrel before, but I think this is possibly our first piece of iris. And this costs 52p, uh, sold within two weeks for 20 pounds. Crate 13. Uh. <laughs> no, that's got a six in it. Okay, why can't I see crate 13? Oh, I don't know. You're not firing on all cylinders today, are oh, you? Yeah. Oh, it's that, it'll be that bottom one, yeah. Right, vintage Queen Anne creamer jug, beige, floral, ribs, matte, dainty, small, very old. Very old? And small. How small? Like 10 centimetres, and it's like a beige -y colour. Don't spend too long looking for it, because it won't be worth our while, money-wise. Oh, has it got a lid? No, it's a jug, like a milk jug. Oh, is it really small? Yeah, it's small. Well, yeah, I know. But no, I don't like know what your really small is compared to, to my go small. In a, in a teacup. Probably. No, that's <laughs> not a jug. I couldn't see till I picked it up. Oh, there it is. There we go. Look at that beauty. That cost one pound eleven. That's quite a high price for us lately. That's an older one, then, isn't it? No. Well, it's been listed a month. One pound eleven. That's what all the. Is it blue tub? No, that's thirty five p. That's I mean, black, black tub. Black. <gasps> uh, yeah, one eleven. Can't remember. Don't what's know. 11, anyway, yeah. one pound eleven. And it sold for nine pound plus post within a month. All right. Thanks very much for watching. We will see you in the next one. Bye for now. Bye. Bye. Bye.